Hello there, my name is Grayman, and in today's video I'm going to teach you two words. These two words are very important. They are here, rise and raise. Many English learners do not differentiate between these two words. In order to understand these two words, I have to explain to you, or I have to teach you, transitive. So what is transitive? This is one of the categorizations of the verbs. They are either transitive or intransitive. A transitive verb, like the verb eat, it is transitive. If I say, I eat, then you say, what do you eat? So I need an object for the verb. So if you look here, we say Tom, Tom is a subject. A subject is the doer of the action. And eat is the verb. And the banana is the object of the verb. So if I said, Tom ate, then you would say, what did he eat? So Tom ate is not a complete sentence. It doesn't make any sense. So we need an object. So we say, Tom ate a banana. Then we understand that Tom ate a banana. That's clear. So, this raise is transitive verb, transitive verb. So, it needs an object. So, the past of raise is raised. And the past participle is the same. Raised and raised. It is a regular verb. Here we say, raise your hand if you know the answer. Look at this. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Who raised the hand? I raise my hand. I is subject. Raise is a verb. And hand is object. I raise my hand. So raise your hand if you know the answer. This is a general phrase. Raise the bar. That means put up the standard of your company or your business. Raise your eyebrows. Raise your eyebrows. So you raise them, they don't uh, go higher and lower by themselves. So is that clear? And then we have the intransitive. Intransitive like what? Let me give you another example. Really not nice example, but I have to go for it. So if you look at these two verbs, the verb kill and the verb die, or the verb cut and the verb dry. If you have, for example, an animal. Somebody killed your animal. So somebody is going to be the subject. Your animal is going to be the object and kill is going to be the verb. So this is going to be transitive. While die, if I say my cat died. So that's it, it's a complete sense. So it died. You're not going to say, oh, how come? Or who died it? That's not existed in English. Okay, just like if you have a tree, I cut down the tree in front of my house. I is the subject, cut is the verb, and the tree is the object of the sentence. If I say, the tree in front of my house dried, the tree dried, so it makes sense, it's a complete sentence. So if you look at this, it is intransitive, it doesn't need an object. 
Okay, it doesn't need an object. The past is this. This is the past. And this is the past participle. Past and past participle. Rise, rose, reason. Okay? So we say the sun. Like every day, the sun rises at six. At six. Every day, the sun rises at six. So the sun rises by itself. Okay, of course, there is a power behind that, but that what we, uh, that's what appeared to us. Then we say the sun rose at six yesterday. So this is the past. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Until next time, you take care.